Welcome to January 2015's Coffee with Manitou. Coffee with Manitou is a one-hour monthly webinar session, bringing bold users together for training and to share valuable information. For this Coffee with Manitou session, we shared our recommendations for annual routine maintenance for your Manitou system. We condensed the Coffee with Manitou session down into four smaller videos. This video is part one. Josh Tafoya starts this video off explaining how to reset global holidays. This is kind of prompted by when, when I, I've done my training on site. Uh, I've spoken to you guys and told you that once a year, at the beginning of the year, you want to get into your uh, supervisor workstation and adjust your holiday schedules for the new year, the things that move around like Memorial Day and Labor Day and so forth. So it's something that we started talking about last month. Uh, Bob suggested that we go ahead and talk about all of the stuff that you should do about once a year. So that's where we're going to get started. And I'm actually going to start with the global holidays since that's the thing that, that kind of brought this on. So anytime that you need to adjust your schedules, and usually this should be within the first couple of weeks of January, usually not this far into January. But usually in the first couple of weeks of January, what you should be doing is coming into your supervisor workstation, going to your maintenance menu, and going to your global holidays. That brings you to your list of global holidays that should have been set up at some point during your, your training, during your implementation of Manitou. And what we see, on, of course, on the global holidays screen is the holidays that have been established here. So we see, for example, that Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday is showing as January 17th. And, of course, we just passed that this Monday, this past Monday. And therefore, the, the, the date was the 19th. So, uh, this, this holiday schedule actually hadn't been corrected in time for that one. But that's what we're going to do right now. So, as always in Manitou, to move these around, we don't need to delete them from one day and change them to another day. We just drag them to the correct day. So, we, as always, we need to go into edit mode here and then move it to the correct day. So, Dr. King's birthday is on the 19th this year. And I'm looking at a list I have of the federal holidays, uh, the things that move around. And of course, depending on where you are, depending on the holidays that, that are observed locally, your holidays may be different. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Uh, for February, I have Washington's birthday and that's going to be the 16th this year. The next one that I have is Memorial Day, which is May 25th this year. Um, July 4th, of course, doesn't move. Labor Day is September 7th this year. Columbus Day is being observed on October 12th. Thanksgiving is the 26th. And that's the, the only ones that I have that move. But you might have something, for example, depending, again, on the, the area that you're in, depending on the customers that you serve. Something like Easter is going to be on April 5th this year. So you might have uh, customers that observe Easter Sunday. You might have customers that observe then Good Friday. And, I mean, depending, uh, you know, you may have no customers that observe those in terms of, uh, how they, how they use their open close schedules. And that gets me to the next thing that I wanted to talk about. Where, the reason that we have the global holidays list here is to apply it to the open close schedules on your customers. So now that we've come in here and we have a list, a correct list for this year, this is the current year, of all of the uh, global holidays, what we can do is we can come in here to manage to operate a workstation. We can open up a customer and look at their open close schedules. And we've got their normal open close schedules. We've even got an alternate schedule here. 
But the reason that we're using the holiday schedules is because there's these things that move around every year. Memorial Day, Labor Day, Thanksgiving, that sort of thing. So once we, if we're going to assign, for example, Good Friday on this customer, we can come into their holiday schedule here in the operator workstation, pick the holiday, and if they're going to be closed, we're just going to put zero for the time, which is uh, midnight, the beginning of the day, and then no activity for that day. But if they were just, for example, closing early that day, we could put, for example, noon as their May close time, but then also for that same day, two o'clock for their must close time. So we're using the, the holiday for the same day to just adjust their schedule. This is the reason that we use the global holiday schedule because you may have this on thousands of customers. You may have all these holidays on thousands of customers. And we give you one place over here in the supervisor workstation where you can go shuffle those holidays around. And our philosophy on that is if you, if it's observed by more than two customers, would you rather come edit the holiday in one place or would you rather just, um, would you rather go into each individual customer and do the, do the holidays? Because it's still possible to come in here and put something that doesn't exist in the holiday schedule. So if, for example, this customer is closed on Groundhog's Day, then it's possible to come in here and put February 2nd, no activity. And it just doesn't recognize it as a global holiday. But then that would mean every customer that has uh, something that, that falls on that same day, if it moved around, you would have to go change that holiday for every one of those customers. It's much easier to come in here and do it on the global holidays. So that's the, the thing that you should be doing once a year. If you guys don't have it in your calendar, you should, in the first couple of weeks of the year, you should uh, have a reminder in your calendar to come into the global holidays in the supervisor workstation and just print out a list from Wikipedia or something that's got the, the holidays for the, the current year. For, the, for example, obviously this year it's 2015. And that's all I did was go to Wikipedia and look at the list of federal holidays. This concludes part one of the Coffee with Manitou session from January 21st, 2015. Register for next month's Coffee with Manitou session at boldgroup.com and check out any upcoming videos on our YouTube page. For more information, contact your account manager today at sales at boldgroup.com.